Okay, welcome back. We go again. We are going to solve this problem that is they are power series based on on geometrical series. Certainly we can find the power series to all these functions based on a geometrical series. For sure we will not be able to do it with the with sine of x or cosine of x but we will be able to do it with this kind of function 1 divided by 1 plus x uh, 1 divided by 1 minus x squared we will find the power representation and the interval of convergence of all this function let's go to start let's go to start so the first things that the first problem that they ask is find the power series representation of the function 1 divided by 2 plus x so what we have to remember is that when we have a geometrical series a summation from n equals 0 to infinity of r to the n or 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed etc this summation when x goes to infinity the summation is 1 divided by 1 minus r 1 divided by 1 minus r if we put instead of the r dx, it will be 1 divided by 1 minus x. And if we put instead of the r dx, it will be the summation of x to the n. So 1 divided by 1 minus x is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the n. And this is true if x is less than 1 or if r is less than 1. If the absolute value of x is less than 1, this is true outside this interval this is not true okay so the challenge now is they give me this function 1 divided by 2 plus x and they say find the power series representation of this function certainly this function is not the same like this one there is a 2 here instead of a 1 and there is a minus sign instead of a 1. So I need to do some kind of manipulation to make it to look similar like this. The first manipulation that I will do, I will try to find a 1 here. So because there is a 2 here, I will divide numerator and denominator by 2. So it will be 1 divided by 2, 2 divided by 2 it with this 1, x divided by 2. Still, it doesn't look same like this one. This one is 1 divided by 1 minus x. So I have the 1 half. The 1 half can be in, in put it apart, so it would be 1 half. Now, instead of putting plus x divided by 2, I will, I will write minus minus x divided by 2. And now I recognize that the series is written now, the function is written like a power series in this term, in this form. 1 divided by 1 half divided by 1 minus r. r is minus x divided by 2. r is minus x divided by 2. So what is the power series representation of this function? Or of this function? What is the power? Is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of r to the r to the n. But r is minus x. Minus x divided by 2 minus x minus x divided by 2 raised to the n power and the 1 half is here. So it will be 1 divided by 2 plus x can be represented by the power series 1 half summation from n equals 0 to infinity. Now this minus sign that appears here, I can put it like minus 1 to the n, x to the n divided by 2 to the n. Now these two I can plug in inside and will be the summation from n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n, x to the n, 2 to the n plus 1. Perfect. And this series converge? Of course, it converge. But where? Where it converge? When the 
absolute value of r is less than 1. Or when x divided by 2 is less than 1. Or when x is less than 2. Or when x is smaller than 2 and bigger than minus 2. And because mm, this function comes from a geometric series, the interval of convergence will be 2, comma, minus 2, comma, 2. So if you want to make a picture, this is the 0, this is the 1, this is minus 2. So it converge inside here, and at the end point, diverge. At 2 and minus 2 diverge. Mm, let's go to the next problem. Okay, let's go to do the problem number 2 that says find a geometric power series for the function 2 divided by 5 minus x. So what we know, how we do this kind of problem is based that the power series representation for 1 divided by x is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. This power series is 1 plus x plus x squared. So we need to have the function 2 times 5 minus x similar at this function. So here we have a 1, here we have a 5, so we need to transform it into a, five, into a 1. How? We divide by 5 in numerator and denominator. 1 minus x to the f a divide by 5. And now this function looks the same one like this function. If you write it down, 1 divided by 1 minus x divided by 5. And now the r is x divided by 5. So what is the power series? The power series is 2 divided by 5 by the summation when n equals 0 to infinity of the r, the r is x divided by 5, x divided by 5 to the n. And this can be written like summation from n equals 0 to infinity of 2 times x to the n divided by 5 n to the n plus 1 with this 5 will go here, 5 to the n, multiplied by 5, is 5 to the n plus 1. And what is the interval of convergence? Well, the r is x to the 5. And it's a geometric series, so the, um, the magnitude of r have to be less than 1. So in this case, x divided by 5, the magnitude of x divided by 5, have to be less than 1, so x must be uh, the absolute value of x have to be less than 5, so the x should be between 5 and minus 5, so the convergence occurred centered at 0 in the interval minus 5, 5. So this is the interval of convergence. Let's go to the next problem. The next problem say more or less the same thing is based again that 1 divided by 1 minus x is the summation when n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. So this is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the n. If they ask what is the power series representation of this function 1 divided by 1 minus x squared you, where, wherever you see an x, you will put an x squared. Wherever you see an x, you will put an x squared. So the power series representation of 1 minus x squared is the summation when n equals 0 to infinity. Wherever I see the x, I put x squared. x squared to the n. So is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the 2n. And the r here, the r is the x squared. The magnitude of r have to be less than 1, so the magnitude of x squared have to be less than 1, so the x have to be between 1 and minus 1. Okay, uh, let's go to the next problem.
The next problem is more or less the same. You need to find 1 divided by 1 minus x. You compare with this series, with this geometric series, x to the n. 1 plus x plus x squared, etc., etc., plus x to the n is the infinity series. So here, in this problem, I have 1 divided by 3 minus x. What I have to do first? Ah, but the problem says center at c equal 1. If it says center at c equal 1, I need to find a term that will be x minus 1. This is the term that I have to plug in. So to create a power series center at x at, at c equal 1, it needs to, to to appear the term x minus 1. How we will do, how we will make to appear the term x minus 1? This will be 3 minus x. So we don't divide by 3 yet. We can divide by 3 if we are going to find the power series center at 0. Uh, but we are going to find the power series center at x minus 1. So we need to find, to, to, to write here, uh, to manipulate the expression. For sure, 3 is 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is the 3. So it's 2 plus 1 minus x. So it's 1 divided by 2. Uh, so I need to write the x minus, the this minus. Now the x, am I right? The 1 minus 1. So this will be plus 1. So this expression to the left and this expression to the left, they are equivalent. So now I have to get rid of the two. How I will get rid of these two, of this one divided by two? We divide numerator and denominator by two and will appear minus x minus one divided by two. And now I will write these things like this, one half, over one, divide by one, minus x, minus one, divide by two. And this is the function that they give me. And I compare this function with the function one, divide by one, minus x. Okay, this is the r. So now this is the r. So the radius of convergence is um, subject to the fact that x minus 1 divided by 2 should be less than 1. Okay, and what is the power series? The power series is 1 half the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n of r, this r to the n. So it will be x minus 1 divided by 2 to the n. Mm. So it will be equal the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of x minus 1 to the n divided by 2n plus 1. And this is true. This power series is true. This power series represents the function 1 divided by 3 minus x in the interval of convergence where the r this r is less than 1. And this r less than 1 means that the absolute value of x minus 1 divided by 2 is less than 1, or x minus 1 in absolute value is less than 2, or x is smaller than 3, or x minus 1 is smaller than 2 and bigger than minus 2, or in other words, x is smaller than 3 and bigger than minus 1. Minus 1 will pass here, plus 1, minus 1 plus 1 is minus 1. So the interval of convergence will be 1, 3. And the endpoints are excluded because the geometric series doesn't converge at the endpoint. So the problem is solved. And this is, if you give me this function, I can give you the power series representation of the function. 
it will be this one, this one, and this one, this is valid only on this interval, 1, 3. Uh, sorry, minus 1, 3, minus 1, 3, minus 1, 3. Now we continue with this problem that is, uh, is doing manipulations, doing manipulation of the same thing. The same thing is say that 1 divided by 1 minus x is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. Or in other words, is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the n. So I have, if I have 1 divided by 1 plus x, I need to do some kind of manipulation like 1 plus or minus minus x. Oh, and now this is the r. Oh, so this will be the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of minus x to the n. Or in other words, will be the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n, x to the n. And given this equation, it says determine a power series for natural law of x plus 1. What you will do? Well, you will start with this uh, fact that 1, divide, 1 plus 1 plus x is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 raised to the n, x to the n. And if this is certain when the absolute value of minus x is less than 1, or when x is smaller than 1 and bigger than minus 1, strictly like this. So the problem say, find a power series but to natural law of 1 plus x. So I, I, I recognize that the integral of this and the integral of this, the integral of this is natural law of 1 plus x plus c. I will adjust the c with some value. So this is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n. So the integral is over the x, it's d dx. So it's x n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So I found um, the, the, the series representation of natural law of x, of 1 plus x, but I don't know what is c. So when x equals 0, when x equals 0, natural law of 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, natural law of 1 is 0. So I will have a 0 here, plus c, and when x equals 0, everything is 0. So c should be 0. So I found c, c equals 0. So natural law <coughs> of 1 plus x have a power series representation that is the summation from n equal 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the n x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Is centered at what point? Is centered at c equals 0. No problem with c equals 0 because the function is natural law of 1 plus x, so a c equals 0 is defined the function. No problem for that. Let's go to write a few terms of this power series representation. When n equals 0, sorry, n equals 0, when n equals 0 uh, is x to the, is x, x. When x equals 0 is x. When x equals 1 is minus x squared divided by x equal 1 divided by 2. Plus, when x equal c, when n equals 0, this therapy. When n equal 1, this therapy. When n equal 2, which therapy? Well, I will plug in n equal 2. Minus 1 squared is plus. x equal 2 will be x cubed divided by 3. 
when n equal 3 minus x4 divided by 4, there is no factorial here, it is a 4. So what is, so the sum continues for if it never end, never end, plus minus an alternative series. If I want to find mm, the value of the function at x equal 1, I will find that natural log of 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, natural log of 2, so I will plug in x equal 1, it will be 1 minus 1 half plus 1 third minus 1 four plus 1 fifth minus 1, 6, etc., and you keep going, you keep going. So natural log of 2 is 0 0.6060 something I don't remember, but if you sum all this, you will find this number approximately, this number just summing a few terms, it, it will converge. It doesn't converge very fast. You may need to sum more terms, maybe you need to sum Ten terms at least, but it converges to natural log of two. Let's go to see the next problem. But sorry, it, it still I didn't discuss the interval of convergence. So when x equal one is an alternate, it's, it's the harmonic alternated series that converge. So the integral of this expression of one divided by one plus x appear to be the natural log of one plus x. And the natural law of 1 plus x have this power series representation in what interval? Well, the original interval was 1 minus 1. When I make the derivative, I may, I don't, when I make the integral, I may gain some endpoints. Maybe I, and I, I gain so it's minus 1, 1 is the interval of conversion. When I do the interval, I may gain uh, one end point. Well, for sure, I have n, n, I have, uh, n this point. Now, when x equal minus 1, does, we, does it converge? When x equal minus 1, it will be, first of all, it will be natural law of 0. Wow. Problem. We have a problem. But when x equal minus 1, you will put minus 1 here, minus, minus 1 squared is 1, 1 minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, diverge. So the interval of convergence of natural of this power series, it will be, you will not convert it to minus 1, it will convert at 1. So we start with this interval of convergence, both of them open, and we have gained an endpoint, the 1. Uh, let's go to the next problem now. Okay, the next problem say, using the facts that we already found, that uh, 1 divided by 1 plus x can be represented at the power series minus 1 to the n, x to the n. We did it in the last problem, I think. Uh, we need to determine now the power series of minus 2 divided by x squared minus 1. The power series of minus 2 divided by x squared minus 1, if you do par partial fraction, you can split this, uh, this function into two functions, and the sum, if you do the partial fraction, you will see that the sum is this one. So instead of doing this one, we do the power series representation of this function, and we add the power series representation of this function. What is the power series representation of this function? Is here, we already found. What is the power series of this function? Is the geometric series, is summation, from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. So I have that this plus this accept a power series representation in an interval of convergence that is the summation. This is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n, x to the n. And this one is the summation of x to the n, is the geometrical series. 
Um, what is the sum? You take the common factor to x to the n, and the sum will be the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n plus 1. The common factor is x to the n. So when n equals 0, minus 1 to the 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. x to the 0 is 1, so it will appear 2. When n equal 1, will appear at 0. When n equal 1, this is minus 1 plus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. When n equal 2, it will appear minus 1 squared, which is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. It will appear when n equal 2, x squared here, it will appear 2x squared. When n equal 3, will appear at 0. Because minus 1 to the 3 is negative 1, plus 1 is 0. When n equal 4, it will appear um, positive 1. Positive 1 plus positive 1 is 2. So it will be 2x4 plus 2x4 plus 2x6 plus 2x8. So this is the power series representation. Um, this, because it, they become, they, they come from geometrical series, we know that the x have to be smaller than 1, in this case, so the interval of convergence, the absolute value of x have to be smaller than 1, so the interval of convergence is from minus 1 to 1. So the power series representation of minus 2 divided by x squared minus 1 is 2 plus 2x squared plus 2x4 plus 2x6, but you need to take the x in the interval 1 minus 1. You can plug in any number in this interval, for example. If you plug the 0, <laughs> 0, 0, 0, minus 2 divided by 1 will be 2, you will find that 2 is an equality. If you plug in a number between minus 1 and 1, let's say 1 half, so you will have one half. So it will have minus two. One half a square, one four, minus one. So this will be minus two. One four minus four four minus three four. So it will be plus two third multiplied by four. So it will be a third. Now, what is a third? A third is equal to 2 plus 2 times 1 4 square plus 2 times 1 4 to the 4 plus 2 times 1 4 6 and keep going keep summing and keep summing as many times that you can find this will approach to 8 divided by 3 as you see uh, this is is this a geometrical series? Can I find this term multiplying this other one? Maybe if I write like this, I can see it clearly. This is a third is equal two times that multiply one plus one four square plus one four to the four plus one four to the six, etc., etc., and keep going. Now I see the geometric series. If you multiply this by 1, 4, you obtain. If you multiply the 1 by 1, 4 square, you will obtain this term. If you multiply this 1 by 1, 4 square, you will obtain this term. So this is a geometrical series. So now you can sum this series, uh, multiply by 2. You know how to sum this geometric series, multiply by 2, and you should find 8 third. Okay, next problem. So let's go to problem number 7. It says, find the power series representation of the function 1 divided by 1 minus x, x squared. So we know the power function of 1 divided by 1 minus x. How we will obtain the power function of this 1 divided by 1 minus x squared? Well, there are two ways. 
of several ways. One way could be like this, it could be to realize that the derivative respect to the x of 1 divided by 1 minus x is 1 divided by 1 minus x squared. Do it. Do the derivative of the solution, and you will obtain this function. So is the derivative respect to the x, but the power series representation of this function is summation of x to the n. So we do the, the derivative respect to the x of this power series, and it will be nx to the n minus 1, the summation from n equal 1 to infinity. See that when we, we do the derivative respect to the x, we start here uh, the power series and n equal 0. If you do it by hand, let's go to do it by hand, and you see this small detail that the sum now starts at n equal 1. So the derivative respect to the x, the derivative respect to the x of the summation from n equal 0 to infinity of x to the n, this is the derivative respect to the x of 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the n. So this is, what is the derivative of 1? 0. What is so it would be 0, like the derivative of 1 plus the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of x squared is 2x, the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, 4x cubed, and the last term will be n, x, n minus 1. So the derivative of this is the summation. Now you see it starts at n equal 1 of what? Of n, x to the n minus 1. When n equal 1, it will be 1. x to the 0 is 1. 1 by 1 is 1. It produces this term. When n equal 2, it will 2 minus 1 is 1, so it will produce this 1 here. And when n equal 2, this 2 will be. When n equal 3, will produce. So this is the summation from n equal 1 to infinity of n by x minus x, x um, raised to the power n plus 1. So what I have done is that I start with the power series representation of 1 divided by 1 minus x. I make the derivative of the function, and the derivative of the function is 1 divided by 1 minus x squared, and now the power series representation of this function is this one. In what interval of convergence? What is the interval of convergence? Well, the interval of convergence, uh, if we make the derivative, we don't lose any endpoints because uh, this function, the original one from which, from which one we derive the, this equation, uh, converge on the interval minus 1 to 1. So this one will converge in the interval minus 1 to the 1 on the, with, uh, with the endpoint excluded because we make a derivative so we don't end any endpoint. So initially, the interval of conversion was this one. Um, it, it, it will be for this function, that is the derivative of this other function, will be the same interval of convergence. You never lose the radius of convergence. And making the derivative, you lose endpoint. But in this case, the, the interval of conversion where you start for the function 1 divided by 1 minus x, 1 divided by 1 minus x, the interval of conversion was mm, 1 minus 1. So you don't lose. There is no endpoint here. So you cannot lose endpoint because there is no endpoint. Um, of course, you can check it doing the ratio test. Uh, there is another way to do it. Maybe yes. Let's go to try another way to do it. Maybe another way to do it could be like this. 1 divide 1 divide 1 divided by 1 minus x squared. This is 1 divided by 1 minus x multiplied by 1 divided by 1 minus x. 
What is the first power representation of the first function? Is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. What is the power series representation of the second function? Is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. And now we have to be careful making this multiplication. The first one is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the n. And the second one is exactly the same one. 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the n. And this is true on the interval of convergence where these uh, power series converge, that is in between minus 1 and 1. Okay, how do we do this? If I multiply 1 by all this, I will find 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the n. Perfect. So I have multiplied the 1 by all of this. 1 by 1, 1. 1 by x, x. 1 by x squared, x squared. Now I multiply the x for everything. What I will obtain? I will obtain 1, x by 1, x. x by x, x squared. Let's go to put it. x by 1, x. x by x squared, x squared. Plus x cubed plus x to the n plus 1, and here will appear x to the n. Okay. If I multiply x squared by everything, it will appear, let me put it, it will appear, x squared by this, it will appear. x squared by 1, x squared. Put it here. x squared by x squared, x squared by 1, x squared, x squared by x, x cubed, x squared by, um, um, by x squared, x4, um, x squared by x, uh, to the n, it will be x n plus 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I will do this sum. You see, I repeat here, x cube, it will start here, x cube, x5, and how it will be this uh, sum? It will be 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus 5x4. So it looks that this is 1 plus 2x1 plus 3x squared plus 5x4. It looks that this is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity. So we put like this, and we can put it like this. n, when n equals 0, n plus 1, n plus 1, x to the n. Mm -hmm. Is the same thing? Yes, let me see. When n equals 0, it will be x to the 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, is the 1. When n equals 1, it will be x to the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2x1. 2x1. And when n equals 2, the term that will appear will be x squared, x squared, and it will appear as 3. So this is the power series representation of the function doing the multiplication. Uh, let me see here how they found the other one, summation from n equals 0. Well, it makes the summation, it makes the same thing. It makes this is equal, this sum 
is equal to the summation from n equal 1 to infinity. Now see this trick. This sum is going to be equal to this sum that I'm going to write. So I increase in 1, if I start instead of starting from n equal 0, I will start from n equal 1. So I will reduce the n in 1. So this n will, will be n minus 1. So n minus 1 plus 1 will be n. So n x n minus 1. So if I increase the n in 1, I will change the n by n minus 1. So it will be this same expression. So let's go to do it again. So if I make the sum when n equal 1, what it be? 1 x to the 0. Plus when n equal 2 will be 2 times x. 2 minus 1 is 1, 2x. You see, it appeared the same power series, 3x squared when n equals 3. So what we have said is that the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of n plus 1 x to the n is equivalent to the summation it started at 1 to infinity. And now because you raise the n in 1, you the n that will appear on the expression, you reducing 1. So it's n minus 1 plus 1. And x, and instead of writing a n, you write n minus 1. So it is the summation of n of n x n minus 1. From n equal 1 to infinity. If you raise again a 1, this is the summation from n equal 2 to infinity. Now you reduce this expression, the n in 1, and it will be x n minus 2. Hmm. If I start with n equal 2, let's go to check it, it to see if it appears the same thing. When n equal 2, what will appear? 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 x 2 minus 2 is 0. x to the 0 is 1. So it would appear, when n equal 1, it would appear the 1. So let's go to erase here the 0, the x, the 1. When n equal 3, what will appear? It has to appear the same thing. When n equal 3 is 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, the x. When n is equal 4, what will appear? It would appear 4 minus 2 is 2. So it would appear an x squared. And 4 minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. Oh, you see, it appeared the same uh, power series. So uh, this trick you will use in differential equation. You sum, you start the sum in another point, and you have to, to, to manipulate here inside. This is what we have done. So let's go to the next point, problem. The next problem say pa find the powers, uh, the interval of convergence of the series minus 1 to the n, x to the n, plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. This look like the sine of x, but it's not the sine of x, because 2n plus 1 factorial is what it appear in the sine of x power series of the sine of x, it appears on the denominator 2n plus 1 factorial. So this is not a sine of x. But what it says is find the interval of convergence. Well, how you will do, you will use the ratio test. a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n plus 1. We have done this so many times that I'm going to leave you for you to check everything here. And the result is that this power series is converge on the interval in the close interval minus 1 to 1. Please check it. I think you, you catch it all the details already. And to see the last problem, say the radius of convergence of a series a sub n, x sub n is 3. So this power series is, zero, is centered at 0. 
what is the radius of conversion of the series? Well, this, the, this is the derivative of this series. The radius of conversion never change. It's the same radius. It's 3. Okay, between 3 and minus 3, the power this, if this power series converge, these of the power series converge in the same interval of convergence. Okay, and that's all.